everyone who has that connection pays that standing charge. That's frustrating. If let's say you have solar panels and an EV and you run your solar into your EV and you think, well, I didn't actually import any energy on that day or um, that house was empty for a week because I was on holiday. Uh, why am I paying standing charge for that? I, I, didn't, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't do anything. Yeah, and that is a real dilemma because even customers that might not make a lot of use of the energy system, because that system is built to service peak demand, mm. if you're contributing to that cost and that kind of total size of the energy system, is it fair that you should pay some of some of those fixed charges to kind of running that system? So there's a real dilemma there. You want to incentivize delivery of net zero. You want to incentivize the adoption of these alternative technologies. But at the same time, you want to sort of understand what, what what's fair in terms of kind of if you're contributing towards a system cost, should you pay for that? So yeah. there's lots of trade-offs. There's no perfect solution to this. 